go. Ladder. An old ladder leading up to ancient water tower. Extended climate extended. Pop the latch and brought the ladder down. And up I go. Oh, there's the bats that... It was the bats. Oh, I have to go up again. Not have to, but... Come on. In a patch of smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat-up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? I slid the filthy wallet into my back pocket. I noticed it didn't contain any kind of gun permit. In fact, it didn't contain any ID, uh, cards or ID of any kind. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance of the sewers. Had I come through here before? If I did, someone definitely could have seen me. Look, there's blood on it. Unless that's just rust marks, but come on. It looks like Wolverine was up here. Where is Wolverine? And broken part thing. No Wolverine on this side. What type of water tower is this? Look. Here's the actual water tower part. Then it does this weird thing here, which I, I don't get. I've seen water towers, but they're not like as weird as this. And then who puts it all on one like column, like a mushroom? That's what I don't get. You're supposed to have it like, you know, on legs so it looks cool. I tried the little key I had fit, fished out of the murky puddle of the sewers. It fit and heaved open the rusty door. The wind was picking up it, and the night became strangely chilly. Wait. I don't like that. This must have been the entrance the forests mentioned. Whoever poked around his tunnels. Notes placed couldn't make them out. Here was a sign paid to various campers walking past with the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faint to see clear. Wait, I want to go back. What the heck would I miss if I didn't go there? Because look, it's a key. And that mean I would find... Oh, it's... oh I thought that was like a bat or something. No. So it's either go straight out in the wilderness or check out a building. I hate buildings, but let's go in. Let's go in. Why not? The old train station was quiet as a tomb. Because maybe it is. It's probably a tomb. The only sound was that of increasing wind buffeting the discrepant structure. Leaky. What's it with all the... Like, all the buildings in this town are leaky. Look at that. It's just coming out of the wall, that little crack in the wall. Someone has to do some redecorating. Or just knock down the building and make a new one. What is that line? Just An old ticket booth that looked fairly ruined. Inside the ticket window, those sheets of paper had... Wait, what were these? Train receipts? I thought the receipt I had picked picked up might match these but of course not this station had been closed for years the ticket must have been the newer station that opened up on the other side of town after this one was abandoned however i know the series of fresher looking paper covered it in tiny notes scribbles and diagrams oh that's cool they changed the little box color on the outside huh i like that Okay, more leaks. More leaks, guys. An old map encased in glass hung on the wall. It was the train routes connected to that old station. It looked at it, it seemed familiar. Well, I looked at it, not it, because if it was here, I would be dead or stabbing it right now. Of course, 
the map I found in those tunnels had similar locations marked. And the notes I found on the other man's bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower. Even this train yard. What was he doing coming back here? Maybe you should go kill yourself, dude. And, you know, ask him yourself. I don't know. That was a bit... That looks like a... T Where am I going? What is this? It's a train. The old train was ripped open and hanging from a, from a shred of metal, as well as broken fence, was a dark stained patch of cloth. It looks synthetic, like something in some kind of outerwear. Inside the train shell, I could see a few faint impacts, like wounds. Could there have been bullet marks? Maybe somebody shot there. The ground was well warm, though I couldn't really make anything out. I realized I was touching the gun I had found, as I thought. Oh. He's dependent on that gun. So maybe he's the murderer or an accomplice. I wouldn't make out for accomplice, yeah? Anyone? Sounds nice. Not really. Not nice, but sounds like exactly what he is. I'm pinning it all on you, dude. On you. Look, he's a red menace with his red orange hair. Oh wait, that way. Next to, off away from the mushroom water tower. Onto scarier stuff, like a forest. Okay, so there's a bush. There's a bush. I'm gonna go to the closest bush. Oh, trampled into the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Take it. Oh, that was a nice sound. Yeah, find your driver's license so you can drive away from this town. Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated building. I wondered if I could find my way around. Aww. Oh, do I really have to go? Ugh, I don't like that. I heard it. The cheap dome tent slept two people. I showed my flashlight inside and could see some bedrolls, two backpacks, and a cooler. Two folded camping chairs were on the ground and knocked over. There were a couple of cans of beer spilled on the ground. There was a fire pit there. It was still a bit warm and a few embers still burning at the bottom. So they were, they were around here. Oh wait, no. It's like going this way. This way. This way. I found. Oh, it says no. Well, <laughs> is there anything else? Please. Do I have to go that way? See, look, th something's following me or near. What? What's in it? There was some personal effects shoved back into that rock. Wait, there was a notebook too. Did I read it? Yes, please. Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was a page after large page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Irish, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. Rachel? Her name was the last on the list, and a hand mark beside it in a blueprint. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose had also been crossed out, but there was a mark. These marks looked older, 
and more faded. I think mine. So I'm not talking a lot. It makes my nose like more congested. Well, so let's see here. This one. And then into this building that says, no, no, don't. Well, don't mind if I do. You know? Thanks a lot for... Oh, it's like... Sick bathrooms. Uh, the grimy sink had small patch in it would look almost clean. Almost clean. Don't trust that bit. A musty wooden plank propped the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Take it. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. Did he just put it in his pocket? I don't know. If it's short enough, he could probably just put it, like, down his trousers. And, like, use it as sort of a thing. No? Do you know what I'm talking about? No, crutch. You can use it as crutch if you want, but whatever. The sign was the same as the first one I had seen. This must have been the exit. Oh, exit. That means I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never want to return there. I don't like these doors. Uh. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. It must have been... At the edge of the forest. Though, I wasn't sure where the path had to be led. Excuse me. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean and where uh, and where were the campers who had abandoned their site. Would I meet them too? Though the path ahead of me was less dense, I still felt guarded and wary. Wary. Who knew what it was ahead? Well, I assume the killer is a man. Because all... I don't know. That, that's usually the most case. And... Mm, and plus, there's... The only people on our list is... On his list is... Like, girls. Women. People. So... Let's see here. Oh, there is some light. Look, the little purple. Little purple above my little hand. Little hand. Does that mean sunrise? Or dawn is coming? Please let it mean dawn is coming. I want dawn so bad. And into another industrial area. As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I'd worked as a mech. I don't know if it's machinist or Mackin machinist, whatever. Machinist for all those years. Why did I stumble on that? It just doesn't look right. The plant had closed almost three years. The plant had almost closed. Excuse me. Take a deep breath, me. Take a deep breath. Everyone, take a deep breath. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. Though I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. No, I've been hearing that rustling the whole time. Look, see, look, I, I just want to go hop through this fence and go to that city. Okay, bye. This is what I get for wanting to go to a city. Dead copper. I found the body of a security guard. Just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. I wondered, was this his flashlight? What's on the floor? I dug into the ground. Dug into the ground was a cracked old watch. First my watch, and now this. Take your watch. Watch was useless, but I put it on my wrist anyway. It's all about fashion. Keeping up the fashion. Ugh. Sounds. 
door. Wait. One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around like somebody had been looking for something. Same reason I'm here. The door was locked shut and there was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign that was pasted on the front side, closed for repairs. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear and cobwebs had connected all the quarters. The box wasn't receiving power. Door was locked tight. Power box. Oh. Okay. So just like the water, we gotta go get the power on. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. Bulletin board. No. I, I wanted the bulletin board. No. Back. The board contained yellow clippings of newspaper, cartoons, and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys in the, on the line. Oh, Norman. Norman, Norman. Our old break table. The layer of dusted grime only made seeing this sting more. I, I bet. It, it probably would suck being like, I used to work here. Back in the day, you know. Alright. The open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped inside. But it scratched scratched out. The face was unrecognizable. Oh, what really? I did it I wasn't a creep. And shut tight. Card slot. Okay. Power panel. Shut off. Yes. Green on. Nope. Again. Yeah. See, like, look. Little puzzles like this, you're just like, okay, gotta go find it. It's not really a puzzle, but it's like, this. Again. Who's doing it? Door had been hastily boarded up. No, duh. Actually, it sort of looks like someone took their time. You know? Bit. No? They use like four boards. Come on. Two would have been enough, probably. This was Norman's locker. The door was dented, like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when we worked there. Another panel. Green. A utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer. Ooh, claw hammer. It wasn't dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. Oh, so if it wasn't as dusty, it was used recently. And therefore, here I am getting my prints everywhere. But why not, okay? I don't care. My, the police won't blame me either way. Like, so why not just make it worse? The locker was a complete mess. Hitting at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Yes. Key card pocket. Yes. Another another panel. Hoped power. Yes. Hey. There you go. There you go. So now I just gotta go all the way downstairs and see what this thing is all about. What's this, man? Planks, tools, and broken up parts blocked. Okay, that's a lot, man. Rusted old regulator. Dusty, unused. Oh, okay. Another smudge of dirt, similar to the one I found in those sewers. It was on the floor. It 
large pile of building materials debris. Well. Come on, man. Don't knock on the door. Rack flashlights. Dang it! The door relocked itself. So I can't use the key card. The smell of dirt and trees washed over me as I escaped the old factory. I thought of the guard I had found. Supine. Against the fence. Okay, supine. Is that a new word or is that just a typo? I don't know. He looked like he'd been dealt a serious blow. I had a clue what was coming. But why? Why kill a guard? I had to keep going to find Rachel. I ha I hoped the dirt trail in front of me would lead me closer to town. And the thought helped. And once again, I'm Lushit4. Hope you enjoyed the video. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.